going? I must have taken a wrong turn. You can go out and play as soon as you put the tools away. Excuse me. Hey, I was wondering if you had time to repair a muffler. Sure. Since you'll need your tools, guess I don't have to put them away. <laughs> All right, Chuck. You can go now. Make yourself comfortable. I'll be back in a minute with some parts. Hmm. Excuse me, sir. Do I know you? Oh, no, I, I get that all the time. I guess I just uh, have one of those grills. That must be it. No, that's not it. I'm sure I know you from somewhere. Hmm, I've never been through this area before, so I don't know how... I don't believe it! You're Rad Taillights! Famous extreme off-road racing superstar! Shh! You've won more desert races and gotten more trophies than any other truck ever! Please, not so loud. You're my all-time favorite celebrity, right after my brother Rally, the world-famous racing truck. It must be so great to be a celebrity like you. <laughs> Special Edition Extreme Desert Racers video game? Ooh, how about a picture together? Okay, sure. If you just bring the volume down a bit, we can take the picture after my repairs. Oh, boy! Rad taillights! I can't wait to tell all my friends. Uh, uh, could you please just keep this between us? I was hoping I could take a break from the spotlight here. A break from the spotlight? Isn't the spotlight the coolest part of being famous? It's great having fans that want to be around me, and I love spending time with them, but once in a while, I need to be on my own. I get it. Sometimes I like to hang out by myself, too. I'll keep your secret, Rad. I see someone isn't so anxious to play with his friends anymore. Mom, this is... Uh, someone you've never met before. We've all heard of Mr. Taillight, sweetie. But remember, underneath it all, he's just a regular truck like you and me. We should give him his space. Is this enough space? <laughs> Maybe you should go out and play now. Hey, Chuck. We thought you weren't going to come out and play today. Why? Just because I'm late? That's no reason. It's not like I have a secret or anything. Who said anything about a secret? No one. You're acting muy weird, Chuck. Let's just play. Excuse me, have you heard anything about rad taillights being in the area? What's going on? Did you pop a tire? I'm okay, Digger. Put me down. Then what's the matter? Uh... <gasps> okay, I do have a secret, but you have to promise to keep it between us. I need your help. Rad taillights is here in... Rad! Sorry. That's so cool. What's he doing here? He's having some repairs done, and he just wants to relax. So we gotta make sure that nosy news truck leaves without knowing Rod was ever here. You got We're it. We're in! Awesome. Bumpers up. Friends for the long haul! <gasps> wow! A real-life news reporter. This is my lucky day. I'm Chuck. It's my dream to be just like you. Well, who could blame you, kid? But being a good reporter like myself is a serious and important job. Really? I have to make sure I always know exactly what's going on around me. Uh-huh. My job is to get the info people want to know and pass it along. Speaking of, I've got to get back to work. I'm hot on the trail of a new story. Just call the station, kid, and they'll send you an autographed picture of me. Wait, what kind of story are you working on? Maybe I can help. Ha! <laughs> I'm an award-winning news truck, kid. I don't need help. But no one knows their way around this truck stop like me. I could show you around. Have you seen our parts yard? Hold on a minute. Are you trying to keep me out of that building? Are you trying to protect someone inside? Someone like Rad Taillights? Who? Ho, 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 ha! 
Hold on. We can't go in there. We're free. Um, well, guess you'll be leaving the truck stop now. Thanks for... It's a big truck stop, kid. And I'm not convinced Rad Taillights isn't here somewhere. <sighs> I don't get it. Wasn't Rad in here? Thanks, fellas. That was close. Rad Taillights thanked me. He thanked me, too. Great hiding place. But I don't think you're safe yet, Rad. Even though nobody else knows you're here, that news truck isn't gonna give up. News trucks like him never do. I guess it was silly of me to think I could find a little privacy. We'll help you however we can, Rad. Don't worry, Mom. I've got lots of ideas for how we can keep Rad out of sight. Just wait here. Oh, sure. We get celebrity trucks passing through here from time to time. Oh, hey, Dad. I see you guys have met. I bet the news truck would love to hear about the time Paul Turan came by. Oh, yes. I remember that. He gave me his very own hood ornament. Paul Terrain vehicle is yesterday's news. I'm more interested in rad taillights. Rad taillights? Well, that sounds like rad taillights. I knew it. Out of my way. Sorry. Excuse me. Oops. Nothing stops the news. Hmm. All right, you guys, listen. The average truck wants to know every detail about celebrity heroes like Rad Taillights, and it's my job to get the scoop. And that's what I'm going to do, understand? That was close. Sure was. But we gotta keep doing everything we can to make sure Rad gets the peace and quiet he wants. So that's what's going on. Our transmission can hear the revving engine hum. Time to take cover. You ready? I know Rad Taillights is here, and if you don't tell me where he's hiding, I'll stay forever. Kids, you'll never guess what I just saw on the proving track. A truck testing out a mega ramp, and it looked like a famous extreme off-road racer. Dad, no! He said he wanted to see if he could make it over the fence to the next truck stop. I knew it. Well, wherever Rad Taillights goes, I'm gonna follow. Dad, how could you? going to be my best story ever. You can't outrun me, Rad. Poor Rad. We let him down. Now he'll never get the chance to feel normal again. I don't know about that, guys. Dad? But I thought... Wait, didn't you... Oh, I get it. Dad, you planned this whole ramp trick just to get rid of that news truck. I overheard you earlier, and, well... I saw a chance to help you help Rad. What a team! The best. I gotta say, playing keep away from that news truck was the most relaxing fun I have had in a long time. Thanks. If you still want that picture with me, I'd be happy to oblige. Especially now that I know this is a place I can come back to. You don't have to take a picture with us, Rad. We know you just wanted some peace and quiet. I did. But now, I'd like to get a picture taken with my heroes. You and your friends. No way! Awesome! How's my grill? We'll go back to the diner and take it there. Hey, um, Brad, do you think we can get a copy of your picture? <laughs> <laughs>
After my vacation at the beach, I came back rested and refreshed. The sound of the waves crashing on the shore was so relaxing. <laughs> That's the only kind of crashing I like. Dahlia, did I hear you say you went to the beach? <laughs> I sure did, Chuck. There's so much to do there, like surf, swim, play volleyball. Wow. <laughs> Um, son, the nearest beach is a long way away. That's what you think, Dad. See you, Dahlia. Hola, Chuck! Oh, hi, guys. I was just going to look for you. You still can if you want. We'll wait for you here. Guess what? You got a brand new neon green turbo tire jack with your name painted on it? You just had your front loader oiled? Oh, wait. <laughs> That's us. <laughs> I came to tell you I'm gonna throw the coolest, most awesome beach party ever! Excelente! We haven't had a beach party here since... well, ever! Does it matter that the closest beach is, like, a uh, kajillion miles away? We're gonna make our own beach! That way, not only do we get the fun of playing on it, we get the fun of building it! And I know just where to do it! Can't you just see the beach now? Is it behind the dirt track? No, Soku. It's right here. Don't you love these sand dunes? Oh, I get it now. Wouldn't some palm trees look amazing right here? Totally. Surfboard shop over here. Yeah, and sandcastles, and a volleyball court. Well, I don't know, Chuck. Talking about turning a dirt track into a beach is fun, but doing it for real is going to be a lot of work. Then it's a good thing work is something we love. Bumpers up. Friends for the long haul. Now come on, we've got a beach to build. This stuff's gonna be great! I can already see Soku's palm trees and dig her surfboards, sailboats, and fireworks, and even seaweed. Ew! Ew. Okay, forget the seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> shop is ruined. Hang in there, Digger. We can do this. Thanks, amigo. But it's useless. Uh, I didn't know it would be this hard to make a beach. So we'll work a little harder. It'll be worth it. Even without a surfboard shop? What if you stack the tires instead of standing them upright? Oh, yeah. Then it'll be less wobbly. I'll give it a try. time to grow a palm tree than to make one. Come on, Soku. That was the best palm tree I've ever seen. Sure, if you don't mind it just lying on the ground in a pile. Hmm, that is a problem. But maybe if we use something different for the trunk, we can make the palm tree stand up by itself. Like maybe this muffler pipe? Perfect, Soku. Great job. <laughs> I am going to look great under this tree. <laughs> <laughs> look at that! 
We made a beach. Totally. For sure. Wait, we forgot something. I can't believe it. Hey, aren't all beaches next to, you know, agua? Exactly. Without some water for our beach to sit next to, all our hard work was for nothing. It's still a cool place to play, Chuck. Yeah, let's just have some fun. No, there's got to be something we can do. We solved every other problem we had. Power and pickups. I just had a great idea. Did he tell us what his great idea was and I missed it? Not unless I missed it too. That's a big tarp you have there, Chuck. Not a tarp, an ocean. Guys, we can swim on this. We'll spread it on the ground and it'll sparkle in the sun. Just like waves on the water. An ocean. So cool, digger, it's party time. Our beach is perfect. Let's have some fun in the sun. Huh? It's hard to have fun in the sun when there's no sun. Are you kidding? After all our hard work, there's no sunshine? It's okay, Chuck. The clouds will go away sooner or later. What's the point? The party's off. Huh? Amigo, are you really giving up? The other problems were easy to solve with just a little imagination. But you can't imagine a cloud going away and have it happen. Who knows how long that cloud will stay? And I'm ready for the party now. I'm sorry, guys. Hi, son. I heard you decided to call the beach party off. Was it because you were worried I might hula dance? No, it's because of the weather, Dad. But Chuck, you got everyone excited for a party today. No one goes to the beach when it's cloudy. We did all this hard work, and it was for nothing. Well, it sounds like not only did you give up because things didn't go the way you wanted, but you gave up on your friends, too. What do you mean? Did you ask them if they had any ideas how to get around the problem of no sunshine? I guess I didn't. We can at least put our heads together and try to think of a way to make this work, instead of giving up so easily. Thanks, Dad. I don't know if we'll be able to figure this out, but keep practicing your hula just in case. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have zoomed off like that without talking it over with you. That's okay, Chuck. We're still working on it. We figure if we solved our small problems with our imaginations, maybe we can solve a big problem by imagining a little bigger. Good idea. What have you got so far? Well, we were thinking, if we could make the next best thing to a real beach, maybe there's a way we can make the next best thing to real sunshine. But we don't know what that would be. Power and pickups. I do. You guys, we've totally figured this out. Let's burn rubber. Chuck, <laughs> the water's great. <laughs> yeah, hot and 